Uh, well, welcome to ESC Plus, and uh, alongside me is Deruda and Sebastian. Uh, guys, welcome to London. How are you enjoying it? Thank you. It's it's been wonderful. He was in Edinburgh actually last night playing a show, but I came here like in the afternoon and walked around, and it's it's a beautiful city. Yeah. How are you finding it? I love London. Uh, the first time I ever came here, I was sort of anxious and scared because I'm a practically a country boy from a small village but no it grew on me really quickly oh I mean obviously this early 2000s when I sort of got my beginnings to my career uh, UK and London especially was like the mecca of dance music so it was cool to come here to meet my record company to go out clubbing and also to perform here and uh, it has a you know special place in my heart I was gonna say because it, it, this year is 20 years since Sandstorm. Um, I, I hope you don't mind me mentioning it, but it's just, it's the one song what? that, it's, it's such a great song, you know, I mean, we, we still hear it in clubs here all the time, um, you know, what, what's it, it must have, 20 years must have felt like, wow, 20 years since that came out, does it feel like a long time ago or has it gone so quick? Well, there's a couple of drunken nights in between that and this, but um, no, it's been quick, but at the same time, I mean, looking back, um, I've been married for soon 11 years. I've got a 10-year-old boy and, and a little girl and visited 70 countries and played 1,000 or whatever shows. And so there's a lot to it. But yeah, it seems like a blink of an eye. Fantastic. Uh, Sebastian, yeah. uh, you've been working with Daruda for a few months now. I mean, how did you guys meet in the first place? Was it many years ago? or? Actually, yeah, actually, we've been working on this project for a couple of months, but we actually met uh, in a songwriting camp on his uh, Moments album. Yeah. And that's where we met, we wrote the song together and then actually he uh, asked me to join him on, on a club tour in Finland and then we did some big festivals in, in the Nordic countries. And So yeah, it's it's been a, actually a couple of years now. And so, I mean, Tel Aviv coming up, I mean, you guys are used to traveling anyway, but does it feel a bit weird going up on that stage and only playing one song? And yeah. not doing a whole set. Does like that to, feel weird? Yeah, yeah. We'd like to rock it for two hours, but what can <laughs> you do? Maybe we'll just get some security guys and we stay as long as we can because it's live. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, 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 that's absolutely true. Like we, uh, we're both. You know, I do hour, two, three hour DJ sets. He's uh, used to playing live shows. Yeah. Uh, sometimes a regular band thing. Sometimes you play like throughout the night and yeah. all, all kinds of things. Yeah. We we live for the live moment, so the three minutes is really, really, really short. Yeah. <laughs> you just kind of get into the hype of it, and then it's like, yeah. but um, it's still special though. Like we, we, you know, you don't get these kind of chances too often, so that's yeah. that's why we're very excited. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, and just to quickly wrap it up, uh, any messages you have for your fans out there who have been supporting you since the song came out? Thank you so much because uh, you're the you're the main reason why we do this because. Absolutely. That, that's it. You're the center of the whole thing. Yeah. When, when my music affects somebody's life, uh, I feel really privileged because I have, I remember those that have affected my life. Mm. And if somebody mm. says, tells a story or whatever, like look away now, yeah. it's uh, it's very special. Fantastic.